Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion, and let's play some more of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. So, we have killed the giant. The giant is dead. And we are now kind of well on Dwick. Uh, we're kind of hanging around for a little bit. I want to see what's around, see if there's any more loot to be had. And I do believe... Yeah, there we go. We've got a quest for nails. And something else. I just don't know... I can't find the quest in my quest log. I know who I've got to give it back to. It's the crazy cannibal guy who's on his ship. So I did say I'd try and save him. So I guess I will do that. But he wanted nails, and I swear he wanted something else. So we're going to have a look around here for a bit and see if we can find it. Bloody hell. That guy was actually killed with a ship's anchor. That's impressive. So this is where the giant kind of tore the place apart. I mean, I'm not... I'm, I don't feel any sorrow about the fact we killed him, because obviously he was a terrible giant. I just, I wish I knew what the hell he was up to. Why he wanted to build a boat and go fight the gods. You know? This is like a scene out of Beowulf. Sorry, it just, it just struck me. You've got like this Viking longhouse with like a king seated at the table. This guy's even wearing like a little crown. It looks like something out of Beowulf where the monsters barged in. And unfortunately Beowulf wasn't here to save the day. Okay. Got a f I don't know what I'm looking for. Well, we'll just keep looking until I find it. It's a simple plan, and it's my plan. Luckily, this area does appear to be quite quiet. Is that the door that goes back in there? It is. Okay. Um... sure where to go or what to look for at this point. Just keep Ooh. I can hear some something in the distance. Some monster. I've got a mug. Excellent. I always wanted a mug of my own. Ooh. Okay, there's some more stuff there. Well, crafting components are always handy and they don't weigh too much. We are pretty close to our maximum carrying capacity though, so might have to start getting picky about what we do and don't take. Nothing in here. Ah, uh, more nails. Is that enough nails? I don't know. How many nails am I meant to take for this guy? Maybe just maybe it was just nails. Maybe that's all he wanted. This island is full of strange sounds. I don't know if they're coming through on the recording properly, but just very odd sounds all over the place. Ooh. More nails. Okay, we've got a lot of nails. We've got like a hundred nails. It's got to be enough, surely. Who could ever want more than a hundred nails? Ooh, what's that? I can hear something growling in the distance. I can't see anything with my Witcher senses though. The area actually appears fairly quiet. Okay, let's try heading back to the crazy cannibal guy and see if that's going to do the job. So he was... Uh, he was around this area. So we want to go down that way I think. Fortunately I can't fast travel there because there's no crossroads marking. Uh, we could go cross country though. Doesn't appear to be too much on this island. We fought a few, well, we fought a lot of flying monsters and a few neckers and the like, but nothing we haven't been able to handle. Maybe I can just swim across the lake. Do you reckon I can get across there? Yeah, I want to go back. I want to go up that way. There a part? Uh, screw it. We're going for a swim, guys. Oh, hang on. There's people. What the hell? Why are there people? I didn't know there were people on the island. Bandits? How are there bandits here? There's a giant roaming around. Why hasn't he killed you all? Ah, oh, I swear to god, I've got to do all the tidying up. Come on, come on. 
Okay. They're only level 14 bandits, so that was actually pretty handy. But we did find some hidden treasure, and now I'm overburdened. A master crafted silver sword and a torn piece of paper. That could be worth our while. Skelliger longsword. Now I need to I need to drop some stuff. Uh, where's this master crafted silver sword? Ah, damn. No, it's not much use for us, unfortunately. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um. Yeah, we'll get rid of that as well. Got to clear up some space here. We're carrying a lot of stuff now. Master crafted saddle. Yeah. I don't really want that. We can sell it later on, though. Oh, I've got to read that, load, that note, haven't I? Where are you? Torn piece of paper. And then the old druid said, If it really is wisdom and knowledge you seek, take your most valuable possession and put it in a chest. Then sail to Udvik, climb the mountain, and walk the ridge. Bow once to each of the four winds, commend yourself to the gods, and toss the chest into the sea. Holvarg did as the druid counselled, then returned to the sacred grove. I tossed the chest in the sea, Holvarg said, but I don't feel one bit wiser. The druid replied, that is because there are no shortcuts on the road to wisdom. Neither saying prayers, nor making offerings, nor listening to the words of wise men will grant it to you. That is your lesson. Hearing this, Holvarg flew into a rage and strangled the druid with his bare hands, then stuck his head on a pike and set it out in front of his house. So everyone would know that while he might not be wise, he was nobody's fool. <laughs> That's brilliant. Okay. So we've got a quest for what I believe is going to be some treasure hidden somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Level 13. Read the note you read. I just did. Damn it. Don't make me read it again. Search for the treasure on the bottom of the lake using your witcher senses. Ooh, there's a wraith over there. What? Okay, now I've killed the giant. Everything's coming out of play, isn't it? And there's also, also an awful lot of goats around. Uh, the chest is actually pretty close. We could go do that now. In fact, we might as well. There's almost certainly going to be drowners or something around here. Where's that wraith? She's over there. She might have something for us to play with as well. There's the chest. Let's see what Holvarg thought was really, really valuable. Ooh. Oh, we've got a sword. Let's see. Holvarg. Oh no, sorry. Blowed Aid. Steel sword. Not bad, actually. A little bit less damage than what we're currently carrying, but 8% yard and side intensity, 8% critical hit bonus, 6% chance cause bleeding. That's actually not a bad sword. Do I want to switch that over for my current weapon? Could do. Maybe once I've actually put something in those slots. I don't know if I've got much on me right now in terms of glyphs. Or rune stones, rather. Yeah, I've only got kind of lesser ones on me right now. Might want to wait. Well, she got a couple of got greater than a standard. That could be pretty good. Now let's not worry about that for now. Let's keep on playing. Let's maybe go see about this red-headed wraith over there. She's got a very nice cap. I I kind of want her cap. Oh, there's actually a couple of them. Okay, I can see another one in the cave. I'm going to get distracted by a lot of stuff now, I can bet. But if I don't do this now, I'll forget about it. Uh, let's see, we must have some wraith oil around here somewhere. There we go, enhanced spectre. Give me some of that. And won't worry about the decoction right now. But what are wraiths vulnerable to? I can't remember. It's been a while since I fought a wraith. Uh, spectres. There we go. So, in general, Quen, Yarden, Spectre Oil, Moon Dust Bombs. Okay. Let's make sure we equip our Moon Dust Bomb. I don't have it equipped right now. 
but I must have a moon dust bomb by, you know, must have made one at some point. Where are ya? Northern Wind. Grape Shot. Dragon's Dream, Dimitrium. Really? I don't have an anti wraith bomb. That seems foolish on my part. Is it because I can't make it for some reason? Uh, let's see, bombs. Do, do, do. Northern Wind, Samum. What was it called? I can't remember. Okay, whatever it is, apparently I don't know how to make it, which is probably why I haven't made it. We'll just do this the old fashioned way. Old fashioned way was really effective. Let's see, I don't know what's in this cave, but the fact that there's a bunch of wraiths guarding it makes me want to go in there. You know? I'm a simple man, I see a wraith, I kind of want to kill it. Nope, 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 no. stop that. That was not what I was trying to do. I'm trying to loot. There we go. And we have a mysterious chest. Skellige Gambeson. Okay, well I can carry it, so I might as well take it right now. Does this get me any closer to where that boat is? Uh, not really. It's kind of taking me away from the boat at the moment. But there's another chest up here, so I've got to check that out. No, oh, I might have already checked that out. Yes, I believe we have been here before. Yeah, we came through here once before. Okay. So now we can kind of backtrack. There's the watchtower. Half, you know, does look pretty clear. There's a monster or something to my right. There we go. That's the giant ship. He's not going to be needing it now, because I kind of killed him. So. What are you? Oh, there's one last Necker. Well... Might as well put you out your misery. There we go. I did kill all his mates, so it'd be kind of rude just to leave him suffering alone. No, nope. oh god. Damn, that's a cliff. Okay, that was lucky. I didn't take any damage for that. I didn't realise there was a cliff there, so... We also didn't actually look around this area very much to see if there was any more loot. Like a master's armor repair kit. That's actually pretty good. We did kill a couple of flying beasties around here. But we never went down that direction. I think that we'll go there next. Have a look around. Well, let's see if Crazy Guy wants to talk to us. Now that we've killed the giant. Well, you're not singing anymore. Which is a bit worrying. It was very nice singing. Look there, crew! Wait, hair's returned! What brings you to us? Okay, I've got... Ah, oh, nails and twine. That was it. I will... Yeah, here, I've got some stuff for you. Got nails and twine for you. What? Oh, yes. Finally. Poor Willem's here. Willem's Lovely. That's what you needed it for. Okay. Uh... I should go. Can we Fair not talk about well. anything else? I want to tell you the giant's dead. Look there, crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, there we go. Giant's dead. I killed the giant. Killed him? Did what my whole crew couldn't? Hear that, lots? Are you not ashamed? When you're done talking to yourself, sail back to Ard Skellig with me. Refugees from Undvik. They found a safe haven there. Aye. They all fled. See ya. I promised my crew we'd not leave the isle, and we've still got work to do. Oh, she'll be a lovely long ship when we're done. Really? You're just gonna stay here? I can't convince you to leave? Look. Nope. Okay, he's happy. I, go. I suppose that does make sense. Fair he is well. kind of insane, and also a cannibal. Probably wouldn't be well received were he to go home.
Well, let's have a look down this way, see if there's anything about, because we came... Yeah, we came through that chasm there, but we never went down this way. And obviously there is some big construction work down here. Some kind of, like a giant sized gate. It's a giant gate! Literally. Uh, Velen longsword. Fine. Not seeing too much else about though. No, I don't need any more Velen longswords, they're kind of rubbish. Ooh, that's not rubbish though. We'll take that. Ah, damn, now I'm overburdened. Okay, I think I've still got a couple of rubbish swords I can drop off. Let's see. Yeah, these Velen long swords are rubbish. We'll just drop them. They're not. We won't get any money for them at all. Uh, in fact, sort items for me by price. What's the cheapest thing I'm carrying? Rubbish trousers, they can go. Rubbish boots, they can go. The rest of this might actually be worth something, so we will keep it for the time being. We should be heading back to civilization in fairly short order. More ashes, why am I not surprised? That's all we found on the ship was just barrels of ash. I guess this is meant to be some kind of launch ramp for the boat when it's done? Because otherwise I don't know how they think they're going to get it into the ocean. But, uh... Yeah, I don't think that boat is ever going to set sail, from what I've seen of it. Not to be disparaging to the crazy guy, but it's not a very good boat. Oh, and we've got some monsters. Well, let's finish this off with a quick fight, shall we? This is the bit where I die hilariously badly. Come on, come closer. Wait, get the sword out for God's sakes. No, put your sword out. <laughs> Geralt, now is not the time to be putting your sword away. Okay. They're not coming at me as a group, which is actually good. Oop, <laughs> you kind of crashed into that rock. There we go, there's another one down. Well, they're only dangerous when they're in the air, these ones. They're not much of a fight. What is that? There's a very deep booming noise. I thought it was the giant, but it can't be, because he's dead. I killed him. Come on, beastie. Okay, took a little bit of damage there. A little bit of poisoning, but otherwise... We are done. Okay, well, I'm going to pause this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, do leave a like, leave a comment, feel free to subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you later for the next one. Bye!